Introducing ourselves to our guest. Good morning, everybody. Richard Turner is here. Now, Richard, you're known as a card mechanic. A card mechanic. And yep. you're performing as part of the Luminato Festival. Exactly. Welcome. At the TIFF building. Yes, welcome. Thank you. At the TIFF building. And I should tell people as well. Now, do you have a you have a black belt? I have a, a six degree black belt. I've been in the martial arts for 41 years. Uh -huh. And you've been completely blind since you were nine? I started going blind at nine. I was completely blind. Uh, uh, a few years later, started at nine. When I was a teenager, it was 20 over 400, which is twice as low as was legally blind. Then through the years, it all faded away. So I now see with my mind and my fingers. And the fascination with playing cards? Uh, watching the Maverick when I was a little kid. Watching Maverick? James Garner. James Garner? I saw him. He'd do things. I thought, he is so cool. I want to be able to do that. And I, w I played cards with my family and because I was the oldest. Yeah. Uh, the oldest always had to win, so I started devising ways so that I did. Yeah. And then when I was 21, I had the privilege of working with a man named Di Vernon. He was born in 1894 and he lived to be 98 years old and for over half a century. He was the best in the world with a pack of cards. And he liked me, took me under his wing, and I spent 17 years working with him. But Richard, the obvious question is, how how do you, w w being visually impaired, how do you uh, manipulate cards? Well, that's my advantage over you. You're probably, you're, you're, you have a disability. You can see what you're doing. I, right. I can't, so my fingers can do things that other fingers but have trouble do you, but you can't, you can't obviously visually differentiate between no. different cards. So you're not but counting but cards or anything like that? No. Here, I'll show you a few things. All right. Okay. Um, deck for Dave, deck for me. When you play poker, blackjack, bridge, whatever you game, you want to make sure the cards are evenly mixed. Start off with, okay? Mm -hmm. So Dave, take your deck and just cut it any way you want. Take my deck and cut it. Got it? Over cut it. Now give it up the river cut. Huh? Give it an up the river cut. Give it an alternating up the river cut. Well, wait a minute, I got it. Give that. it a flying three-way. I got it. Well, your casino procedures, what's called riffle, riffle, strip, riffle. So first break the deck, 26, 26. Now watch the cards, lace them up every other card. Okay. Yeah. Do it again. Riffle the riffle them up. Yeah. Now you give it a strip cut. Okay. I, I don't know. Now I've shown you half a dozen ways of shuffling the cards, right? They should be pretty evenly mixed. Let's take a look. Does that look even? We have ace two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jacks suited numerically. Well, I don't know. They, are you, <laughs> even? Are you being facetious? <laughs> Is it uh, evenly mixed? No, not at all. What, what, are they in numerical order? Yeah, almost. That, that, that's what I call. Well, They're completely in numerical order. That's what I call an evenly mixed deck. I don't and like we the random stuff. It confuses you. me. I watched you shuffle them. Incredible. And I shuffled them up different different ways. Watch, we'll, we'll shuffle them again. And, yeah, it might be red, black, red, black, red, black. Good heavens. Here. You shuffle this deck. Pass that deck. You did shuffle these. In well, yeah, but I didn't deck. shuffle it really well. Well, as long as you're happy, well, that's all I that like matters. To I like to throw them all up in the air. We'll do that the old yeah, yeah. fancy pickup way. That's, yeah, that's slower and a little There more. we go. Okay. Okay, so okay, here you go. I'm, I'm going to give you that deck to shuffle, so it's all ready to go. Would you just reach in and take out a card for me? Yeah, of course. And I'll show you a move or two. Any card at all? It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Just grab a card. Okay, got it. Got it. Hand it to me face up. There we go. So everybody can see what it is. What do we have? Jack of spades. Watch the jack of spades. The cheater wants the jack of spades. So what happens, the, the gambler will deal cards to the other players. Only when the cheater's ready do they deal the jack of spades. Watch face up. So the card sits there. As the second card is dealt, well, you have to deal it as neatly as if you're dealing off the top. And, of course, the first card, whichever one it was, is not a jack of spades. Now, deal it really slow so you can watch the action and the deception. The jack is on top. The cheater will hit the other players. See, like the dealer in blackjack, and only when the dealer is ready do they deal the jack. So, are you pulling those other cards from under the under jack? Under the jack. Under the slow jack. Slow motion. Even Second in slow motion. This is super slow motion. Here's one-handed. See, so look at the players. Now, of course, the cards never face up during play. Yeah. Now, watch when it's face down. See, you can't tell that you've been hoodwinked. The card never moves. That's called dealing. Do you think seconds. there's any kind of natural ability you had, like a tactile natural ability that allowed you to do this? Uh, are these all, first of all, are they all face down? No. no. Okay, so, may I fix, if you don't mind, fix my mess real quick. Okay, Alan will fix them because he's closer. Yeah, okay. Alan's putting them all okay. face down. There we go. Tell me more clear. Yep. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration to the answer to your question about tactile. This will give you an idea how much practice you're talking about and the touch you have to have. Pick a number 10 to 20. Yeah, okay. okay. Say it out loud. 12. Watch it. By touch, I'm going to try to cut 12 cards exactly. And I did it with one hand. Count them out loud, see how close we got. Can you stretch your arm a bit? Can you bet? Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. So you don't think I got lucky? Uh, face down? Yep. Any number one to fifty-two, but you don't want to say fifty-two because I just passed the deck. No, okay. Still, right. uh, Ten to forty. That's where it's challenging. Thirty-eight. So, oh, you want to you want to do some counting, do you? Thirty. See, that's thirty. You did right. it that fast? We're you gonna think find that's out. Really? You, they're in your. You called it. They're in your custody. Uh, I'm committed. Uh, on Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right you on try that, you don't believe. realize how tough that is. Oh, so, I believe you're it. you're just doing that on, based on... Touch. Yeah, and the width of what that and, feels and, like and in actually, space. And actually, I'm the touch analyst for the U.S. playing card company. They're the biggest card maker in the world. Yeah. And the, you, your fingers can actually discern the differences of cards down to a tenth of a thousandth of an inch. Right, right. So you analyze their cards? I, I help them make better cards. Where's those wrecks that I don't, I don't want to mix the decks? Hey, Richard, are right your hands yeah. insured? Yeah. That's, yes. Are they insured? You bet. What are they insured for? Can you say? Enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Uh, where is there? You, you want to hand me the rest of the stack that goes with this deck? That's right there. Right there. Right there. I, just wanna, the I just don't want to mess. Mix our decks together. You shuffle that other deck, right? Here, go ahead and shuffle that deck. You shuffle that deck. I don't know if I shuffled that deck. Uh, well, you, I'm, I'm I gave it to shuffle. you earlier, as long as you mixed it up in some fashion. Yeah, they've been mixed up. You can shuffle them together. Well, I'll give them the day room. All right. Give her something. She's going to shuffle. Okay. While they shuffle it, if you have another question. I would like to know a little bit about, can we talk up for a second about your appearance in Tree of Life, Terrence Malick film? Terrence Malick with Brad Pitt. What was funny is, three different people said, you have to have Richard Turner do the part, because I can pick up a deck and randomly make p anybody win or lose at will. That's not the deck that Dave was shuffled. You want the one oh. that I shuffled? Or? Uh, okay, sure, whatever. That's, That's the one that she shuffled. Sure. As long as you're, someone's happy. And what was your, I haven't seen Tree of Life yet. I actually badly want to. What was your character? Oh, I had a very small part. They just wanted to make sure Brad Pitt lost every time he played blackjack. And the funny thing was, nobody knew they hired a horse with three legs. In other words, that I couldn't see. Yeah. And I was wondering, all the way up to the point of uh, my part, uh, what the, how, how is it going to tell the director, um, you know, I can make anybody win or lose, but you're going to have to show me where the table is. And, of course, Terrence Malick is just the nicest gentleman. He said, oh, that's no problem at all. In fact, in fact he said, I don't know anything about cards. Can you direct the scene for me? Can you help us direct no. the scene? <laughs> and so they let me help the direct the scene. So they were, and how was Brad Pitt? Everybody wants to know. At what? first he was all business, but then out, uh, between scenes we'd do stuff and he'd go, did you see that? Did you see that? And so he, be, he was very, very, very wow. a real nice gentleman. We have about uh, 30 seconds left. Do you want to do one last thing? Okay, somebody shuffle these cards, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's where you're going quick. People through the years have openly challenged me to try to beat them. I had a builder one time. He wanted to cut double or nothing for the pot. Well, I cut. What's that card? Ace I cut it. He said, let's double it again. What's that card? Ace of spades. I asked to double it in. What's that card? Clubs. And I'll, I'll try to get fancy on this last one, and I'm going to cut a card right out of the middle from right about there. And what's that card? Diamond. Eight, eight four, diamonds. Four aces cut from your shuffle deck. Wow. That oh, night, and the funny thing was, that night we doubled over a dozen times before he finally surrendered. I had a really good night. <laughs> Richard Turner, he's performing as part of the Luminato Festival. It's uh, There's a couple different dates and times at the Tiff mm -hmm. Bell Light Bus. 7.15 every Lightbus. night for the next three nights. 7.15 for the mm -hmm. next three nights. There yeah. you go. Easy to remember. But check out morningshow.ca as well. For, uh, if you want to check out those times again. Richard, thank you so much. You bet. My pleasure. pleasure thank you. Here. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a minute at 725. So, Richard, you like black. I'm Kimberly Fowler with Global One Traffic down on the Gardener.